What's up, guys? This is Aaron reviewing more. Back with the review. Now, I was planning on getting a can of Copenhagen Long Cut because I don't. I looked at my channel and I realized there wasn't any reviews of that because back in the day I hated uh, straights. I mean, I hated uh, naturals, and I've grown to to like them, um, not as much as my straights. But what I was handed when I went to my local convenience store shocked and appalled me. This is what our dip is now in, in Canada. A bag. I am embarrassed to be a Canadian at this point, pretty much. I don't know if they did this because the cost of this stuff is so ridiculous. They figured cutting costs might help people buy more. I don't know if it's because they have increased the warnings to big, giant, yellow absurdities on both sides, and it couldn't fit on the can and be legal anymore. Or I don't know if it's because it was National Smokeless Tobacco was bought by a company called Nuvana, which um, is another entity among the big tobacco corporations. I think it's owned by Philip Morris, or I can't remember. I could have looked it up before, but I didn't. So... The three big problems, obviously, with this. Number one, how do you pack a bag? Number two, how do you pinch fine cut out of a bag? Now, this isn't snot, but I could imagine how bad that will be. And how do you get the entire 34 grams out of a bag consistently you will i am guaranteed you're going to get some stuck in the crevices and you will not get all 34 grams so that is my i guess starting displeasure with this i will do a review but I am very unhappy with what has happened in Canada. I am happy that I do not rely on this to dip because this is a disgrace. So, what you see is a bag similar to a small version of a chew bag. It has a sealed here, tear marks here, and a not engaged Ziploc. On the front, it has a huge warning, and at the top there it says Copenhagen Long Cut. And at the bottom, it has a phone number for help, help people to help quit smoking cigarettes, which leads me to believe possibly number one is the reason, because they blanket all tobacco with the same warnings, regardless if it makes sense. When I went to this website, which is gosmokefree.ca slash or go smokefree.gc.ca slash quit. It was entirely about quitting smoking or going to alternatives, which this is an alternative, even though the government of Canada does not see that. Um, and it's got a phone number also on the bottom for that. It says this product is highly addictive. Now on the back, it has toxic information. Now, if you go back one moment, to the, we'll call them the good old days in Canada, the only thing ever listed is nicotine and lead. Even 
the most recent version, it's only nicotine and lead. Sorry, nitrosamines are a part of it. The lead is 0 0.003 grams. If I read that correctly. 0 0.004 milligrams, which is like nothing. You're like your water probably has that much lead. This says this product contains arsenic, nickel, and cadmium. These are chemicals that can cause cancer. I've never seen that on any of our tobacco products. And my belief is this is another warning label that is just taken from cigarettes and put on all tobacco products in Canada without any actual research. They just blanket them all. So, fortunately, this isn't a very happy review. I am very pissed. Thankful that I don't have to, again, rely on this in Canada. But we're going to open it and see how it goes. So, I got a pair of scissors. Where I'm going to cut this open. And we will see what we get. This is a bitch to cut open. It looks like it's been heat sealed to death. So trying to tear this wouldn't work. I guarantee it. To make a, I'm gonna make a mess with this already. This is freaking ridiculous. Try to shake it down. So the inside of the bag, you can't tell, but it is caked because it's foil which means the static electricity makes it stick to the bag. It's going to attempt to pinch from the bag. I'm making a huge mess and I'm getting angry. This is unusable this way. This is ridiculous. I'm going to have to pause one moment. And I'm back. I had to go to the bathroom literally to try to get this in my mouth and it's all over the place. You can't see. I'll try to see if I can show you, but this cut is not long cut anymore. It's like I'm dipping snuff. I don't know if you can see that. But the cuts changed on top of this horrible bag. Now, it could be because I wasn't able to pack it. So they have completely ruined Canadian tobacco.
Does the Ziploc even work? Not really. Because there's tobacco all in the seams. So, my review of Copenhagen Long Cut side from this horrible, 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 horrible packaging is they've changed the cut and it's finer. I wouldn't be surprised if they're just putting snuff and long cut in the same fucking bag. It's all over my life. I'll bounce right now. I'm just spitting out dip. Anyways, long cut, the right long cut, it still has the same flavor. If it was packed, it might sit decent in the gum. I just feel bad to be a Canadian. I remember my last video, I was so like pumped that we had a flavor like crisp blend and small bandits that the US didn't that gave us a little something I'm just embarrassed to be a Canadian at this point especially a Canadian dipper do better Canada can't do much worse. It's just all up in my mouth. Anyways, I'm sorry to be so angry, but I don't know how we can fix this because it's not like this is a regular company where you can just complain enough until they fix it. Because the companies are barely hanging on by a thread anyways. I thank God that I get my American dip. I used to have a checkered past. Not a lot of people know that. Almost nobody knows this on that channel. I used to have an addiction problem. And I've been clean since 2010. I'm 39 in January. This is what's helped me stay that because I still have something to unwind that is like that glass of wine for people after work. And I'm sorry, guys. Let's get back to the review. Copenhagen Long Cut is good. If you like straights, uh, if you like salt, um, it's good. If it's softer on the gums than a lot of the other products, so that's a bonus. Um, the nicotine isn't too high, it isn't too low, it's pretty good. And uh, up until this, I kind of enjoyed it from time to time. So, if you guys see this out there, complain to all your store owners. Give them your feedback. Tell them this is terrible. Because that's the only way maybe we can make a difference. Is by saying to the store owners, tell your rep this is garbage. Tell the company that comes and restocks your product, this is garbage. This is not dipping tobacco. This is garbage. What my plan is to make this bag usable is to get my wife, who is much better at fine motor skills than me, to transfer it to this can for me.
do better Canada. This is Aaron's review and more. God bless and hope you're having a good weekend.